<laughs> Merry Christmas! It's Christmas Eve! And guess what? I was sitting here fixing to put my makeup on, and I thought, you know what I'm going to do? I did one swipe of my contour. I just started it, and I thought, I'm going to go ahead and just do a quick video because I'm putting it on anyway, so I'm just going to film myself as I do it. Um, I already had my eyes on, and I'm wearing my complete favorite that I always wear every, just almost every day. It's my go-to staple, but I use Oak and Bubba, and then I put Blondie um, on my lid, and then I um, kind of mix, crazy enough, pomegranate and cocoa and put that in the outer corner, and then I'll just put a liner on and then some mascara. I'm good to go. Um, so I do that every time, just about, <laughs> here lately anyway. So now, I have started, I'm using this powder brush that I love. I love this brush, guys. This, this side right here is so soft and such an easy, um, uh, gives such an easy, flawless application. And then this side is dense. And so you can put your contour on or whatever um, really easily with this. So, and then it's kind of got that little um, uh, angled, angled side. So I love it. So that's what I'm doing. So I just literally went into my color olive and I just kind of swapped it right here where I needed it. And I already did this side. I just done it. Is that a word? Is that right? Vocabulary? I'm not an English teacher, people. Uh, and so we're getting ready. We're having some family come over and I was like, I've got to put a little face on. And so, why not just jump on here? Then you guys can watch me do it. For anyone who's kind of been interested or thinking that they want to try it. You know, sometimes it just kind of takes watching a few videos and then you're like, okay, I want to do this. Those are usually the messages that I get are the ones that are like, okay, I've been watching enough videos. I want to try it now. And see, this brush is so good. I mean, it just is such a good brush. That little angle. I'm telling you, I've never even used it, even for powder. This is a powder brush because you can just really press your powder right here if you want to set it into place. And then this side's good for applying um, everything and blending. I love this brush for applying everything. Um, okay, so my contour is done. The color olive. And now I'm going to go into my... Um, all over my main highlight shade, which is the color Sandy. And I'm just gonna kinda stipple that. And with this product, it's cream based and less is more. This is one of those cases where less is more. You don't need a lot. You don't have to just layer this stuff on. You just put it where you need it. Get the coverage only where you need it. And then if you need to build, you can. It's totally buildable. But you can already tell just from this side right here. I mean, again, I'm just barely tapping into this. But it, it just gives enough coverage. And what I love about it, truly love about this makeup, is that it still looks like my skin. You know, sometimes I know back in the day everyone was so worried about getting this full coverage matte finish to where it looks like it's not even your face as a mask and you know that's just not what this is about I think especially I mean it's perfect for any age but as we get older if you start caking that stuff on your face you know you face it like it is when you're in your teens and your early 20s and so it starts showing more flaws and then when it sits on top of your skin, it shows more flaws. So this cream acts like a second skin. It moves with your skin. If I raise my eyebrows and I've got these wrinkles here, it moves with it. It doesn't set in it. It just looks like my skin, but just a better version, which is what I want. I want it to look more natural. Okay. You guys were having a big sale. 
the day after Christmas. It's a Boxing Day sale. So, you need to make sure you check out our, our website. We're going to have some limited edition lip and cheek colors in the small little tans, which are real fun because they're half the size of these, so you can kind of fit more into your compact and get a, a better variety. And they're discounted, so love a discount. And make sure you blend into your hairline. Okay. So now I'm going to go in, and I'm actually going to use my finger here right up under my eyes, but I'm going to use this color Sunlit, and I'm just going to kind of press. I'm not using a lot. These colors are pigmented, so they really show up. You don't want a lot caked under your eyes. And then I'm just going to still use kind of the edge of this brush. See how that's an angled side too? This is angled and this is angled. This is a fluffier end. This is a more dense end. So this is going to be a fuller coverage on this side. This is going to be a lighter coverage on this side. So I'm just kind of going to stipple right up under my eye and just kind of spread that out a little bit. To kind of broaden that area. You've got Christmas money and you've been thinking, I'm saving, I have been wanting to do this or want to try this, please send me a message and let's spend that Christmas money. Let's get you some makeup because compared to high-end products, it's the same quality product. I mean, super high quality ingredients and a fraction of the cost. Like you can get a full face, you can get a highlight an all over main shade, a brightening shade, a contour, a lip and cheek, use for your lips and cheeks, a bronzer, a brush, and a palette for like a and a perfector sponge to blend all your stuff out. Um, for like 120 bucks plus, um, plus tax. And then if you went to a department store, <gasps> hey Kelly! And if you went to a department store, you might spend 40 to 50, sometimes more, dollars on a, on a high-end foundation. So this is, this is your mature girl's best friend. But if you already have perfect skin, it's awesome for that too because it's only going to make it um, still seem natural, more enhanced. There we go. I got my full highlight and contour. <gasps> Merry Christmas to you! How's it going over in the Wheels household? You know, my tail needs to be in there wrapping presents. Uh, we've got family coming over today, so here I am. Well, I'm putting on my, i got to put makeup on anyway, so I'm just recording as I'm going. But uh, I need to be in there putting, uh, putting the, the grandbabies are coming and my nieces are coming, so I've got their presents in there to wrap. And as usual, I waited to the last minute. I am bronzing now, so I'm just kind of patting in here. I'm going to go back and I'm going to kind of blend that out. Because so you can see the lines, but this the bronzer is so sheer. Oh, you already had your Christmas. Well, um, we have our, you know, we have a T90 family. We just do. And so, we have our family, our family Christmas on Christmas Eve. And then on Christmas Day, we don't do jack squat. And I am here for it. Like, we've had to before. <gasps> Merry Christmas, Amanda! Before, we've had to run, you know, here and there and do a whole bunch, but we don't have to do that anymore on Christmas, and we usually um, will go see a movie. That's been our, our Christmas Day tradition for as long as I can remember. But now Chubby's working at the police department, and yeah, he's got he's to gotta work. He's got to work today and tomorrow, which is really crappy. But, got to get the job done. 
Got to do it. Somebody's got to work. So I don't know if we'll even go to the movies this year if he can't go. Okay, so now I am bronzed. Not, not, not tons. Now I could do more if I wanted to, but I like to just do a little bit of a nice glow. And then I'm going to put on a little bit of a lip and a cheek and I am done. And so you know what color I'm going to do for my lip and cheek? Me neither. Let me get my old trusty palette over here because I think I may pick a little, since I got on this red sweatshirt for Christmas. Um, this is all of our lip and cheeks. So this is all of our glosses. So you can tell they have a glossy texture. So they're so pretty on. Um, like this is black cherry. And look how scary that looks right here. It looks almost black. <clears throat> and cherry. But it's a stain color. And it is so pretty on the lips. And on the cheeks. Look at that. Isn't that nice? And it's not over the top. Now you can you can build it up. This is ruby. It's really pretty too. So I'm just going to take the same brush right here, the little um, fluffy end of it, the little flat fluffy end. I dipped it in, and I'm just going to kind of go right above where I did my contour. cherry so pretty I, mean, I just don't wear it enough and it's in a it's a gloss it's a glossy texture so if you feel it it feels just a little bit um tacky which is kind of weird for some people because they don't want to feel that tackiness but the glossy texture gives you more of a youthful look to your face um it makes your it makes it more skin like and looks like you're healthy and got kind of glowing skin not shiny and greasy but just glowing so if you don't like that feel, you can always take your sponge and kind of press over it and then it'll press it into your skin a little bit more. It'll also kind of mute it down. But um, and there we go. So now I'm going to finish off with a little, little, little bit of setting powder. So just using this wet damp sponge because once I'm finished, I go back through and I want to bounce this all over my face. But I'm going to go into my Vanilla Dust Setting Powder. You can use a brush with it, but I like to use a damp sponge because I like to press it into my skin because that way it doesn't just set. And I'm just going to kind of hit right in the middle of my face, my T-zone area that sometimes may crease or tends to get a little more oily. I have oily skin. But this makeup is, is cream, but um, your skin will kind of adjust to it as well. And to be honest, when you're not putting tons of mattifying stuff on your face, then your skin will stop producing as much oil, believe it or not. And so a lot of people don't realize that they're actually causing their skin to stay oily or become more oily by the products they put on their face. But your skin will adjust to this. This is really good for you. Um, and then now I'm going to go back over to my illuminator, the last step. This is the color Angel. And I'm just going to dot it right there on the end. Kind of a little on my cupid's bow. And right here on my high points. Just to kind of give it a little bit of a sheen. And then I kind of go back over it with that. But guys, that's me. With my face, now I'm ready for my family. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to wrap the few presents that I have left to wrap. Before people start getting here. And I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas. If you want a color match or you want to try this makeup. Um, and if you're local, you know, let's get together. You can come by the house. I can come to you. You can have a little girls get together of everybody like, Hey, we've been wanting to try that saint makeup. Let's get Susie to come over here. And I'm like, done. I'm here for it. Uh, the parties that I have had in the past have went so well, and everyone just loves the makeup. So um, it's a game changer to put it on your face, and you're like, wow, it feels amazing. So you need to experience it. So just send me a message, and I will be glad to be your personal makeup assistant. And I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas.